Parent Trap, a 1998 American romantic comedy film. Now, girls, let's find our doubles as we be three yes, I'm going to turn the ball over now to my daughter and right hand man, Marva Jr. Marva, come to Simons, if you please. Now girls, let's find our duffers as quickly as we can. Duffel, noun. Number two, North American sporting or camping equipment. Origin, mid 17th century from Duffel, the name of a town in Belgium where the cloth was originally made. I am going to turn the burn horn over now to my daughter and right hand man. Turn something over to someone. Fraser verb. Number two. Transfer control or management of something to someone else. Marva Jr. Marva. Bunk assignments, if you please. If you please. Phrase. Used in polite request. Whoa! Now that's my kind of woman. Yo, Tana girl! Hmm? And I live next door to a vineyard. Uh, it's rather picturesque, don't you think? Go on. Sunblock, lip balm, insect repellent, stationery, stamps. Whoa, now that's my kind of woman. Yo, tie-dye girl. Tie-dye, noun, often as modifier. A tie-dyed garment or piece of fabric. And I live next door to a vineyard. Next door to. Phrase. Number one. In the next house or room two. One point one. Informer. Almost. Near to. Spanking new deck of cards. Maybe you'll actually find somebody on this continent who can whip your tush at poker. Spanking new deck of cards. Spanking. Adjective. Number two. Informer. Very good. Who can whip your tush at poker? Tush. Noun. Informer. North American, a person's buttocks. Maybe you'll actually find somebody on this continent who can whip your tosh at poker. It's not a phrase like kick ass or something, but just a figure of speech in this movie. Now, you remember. If you change your mind and want me to come here and collect you at the end of camp, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, but I'll be fine. Have fun, old bean. I will. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. And want me to come here and collect you at the end of camp. Collect. Verb. Number two. Call for and take away, fetch, the children were collected from school. I'm only a phone call away, thanks, but I'll be fine. Be on a phone call away, means be on call. Phrase, of a person able to contact it in order to provide a professional service if necessary but not formally on duty. Have fun, old bean. I will. Old bean. Phrase. Informer. Dated British. A friendly form of address to a man. To the loo. To the loo. Exclamation. Informer. Dated. Goodbye. Touché, touché, exclamation, number two, in fencing, 
used as an acknowledgement of a hit by one's opponent. Origin, French, literally touched. Oh, come on, ladies, let's not be damsels in distress here. I'll take a whack at it. Okay. Ready. All set. <laughs> On go. Fit. Oh, come on, ladies. Let's not be damsels in distress here. Damsel. Noun. Archaic. Literary. A young unmarried woman. Distress. Noun. Mass noun. Extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. I'll take a whack at it. Okay. Take a whack at. Phrase. U.S. informer. Try to do something. All set. All set. Set. Adjective. Number two. Predictive. Ready. Prepared. Or likely to do something. Let me see. Turn sideways. Now the other way. Your teeth are a little crooked. Let me see. Let me see. Phrase. Used when one is trying to remember something or considering one's next words. We made a decker for you. Hold on. I'm not quite finished yet. Or I have class and you don't. Take your pick. Why I oughta... <laughs> ladies, yeah, hey, ladies, it's time to break up this little love fest. Want me to decor for you? Hold on, I'm not quite finished yet. Deck, verb, number two, informer. Knock someone to the ground with a punch. Oh, I have class. And you don't. Class. Noun. 2.3. Informer. Mass noun. Impressive stylishness in appearance or behavior. Take your pick. Why I order? Take one's pick. Phrase. Choose any among several choices. Ladies, it's time to break up this little love fest. Love Fest, noun, U.S., an event or interaction characterized by mutual appreciation, affinity, or affection, especially when regarded as excessive or inappropriate. Deal me in. Straight. In diamonds. In your honor, a royal flush. I swear I heard your evil clone sneezing all the way across <laughs> the mess hall this morning. All the way across the mess hall this morning. Mess hall, noun, North American. A room or building where people, especially soldiers, eat together. You want to go get a popsicle or something? What are you rummaging in your trunk for? My locket. Oh, now I've got goosebumps. This is like mind-boggling. You wanna go get a popsicle or something? Popsicle. Noun. Trademark. North American. A piece of flavored ice or ice cream on a stick. UK. An ice lolly. US. An ice pop. What are you rummaging in your trunk for? Rummage. Verb, search unsystematically and untidily through something. My locket, locket, noun, a small ornamental case, typically made of gold or silver, worn round a person's neck on a chain, and used to hold things of a sentimental value, such as a photograph or lock of hair. Now I've got goosebumps. Goosebumps. Plural noun. A state of the skin caused by cold, fear, or excitement, in which small bumps appear on the surface as the hairs become erect 
goose pimples. This is like mind boggling, mind boggling, adjective, informal, overwhelming, startling. Annie, we can pull it off. We're twins, aren't we? The truth is, you know, if we switch, sooner or later, they'll have to unswitch us. Need all sterilize? You, you, you sure you know what you're doing? Annie. We can pull it off. We are twins, aren't we? Pull something off. Phrasal verb, informal. Succeed in achieving or winning something difficult. The truth is, you know, if we switch, the truth is that phrase, in fact, need a sterilized. You sure you know what you're doing? Sterilize, verb, number one, make something free from bacteria or other living microorganisms. That tall, gangly thing? I'm making a memory. Oh. Years from now, when I'm all grown up, I'll always remember my grandfather and how he always smelt of peppermint and pipe tobacco. That tall, gangly thing? Gangly. Adjective. Another term for gangling. Of a person tall, thin, and awkward in movement or bearing. And how he always smelt of peppermint and pipe tobacco. Smell equals smell of equals smell like. Smell. Verb number two, emit an odor or scent of a specified kind. I found a stowaway in your suitcase. Oh, hi, how's the photo shoot going? Chewy, too. Chewy, what? Queen Elizabeth II, it's an ocean liner that sails from London to New York. Because I wasn't keen on flying then, and neither was your father. We met our first night on board ship, and we were seated next to each other at dinner. I found a stowaway in your suitcase. Stowaway. Now, a person who stows away on a passenger vehicle. Cause I wasn't keen on flying then, and neither was your father. Keen. Adjective. 1.1. Keen on. Interested in and attracted by someone or something. We met our first night on board ship. We were seated next to each other at dinner. On board. Phrase. On or in a ship, aircraft, or other vehicle. And if you ask me, I mean, a dad is an irreplaceable person in a girl's life. Never being able to say, hi, dad, or what's up, dad, or catch you later, dad. What is wrong with you, you goofball? It's Hallie. Or, what's up, dad? Or, catch you later, dad. What's up? Phrase number two. U.S. informer. Used as a friendly greeting. Catch you later. Phrase informer. See you later. What is wrong with you, you goofball? It's Holly. Goofball. Noun. Informer. North American. A naive or stupid person. Her name's Meredith Blake. She's a publicist from San Francisco. We do some publicity for the vineyard. Look, you and I both know your father's not some kind of suave, debonair, bachelor of the month type. Her name's Meredith Blake. She's a publicist from San Francisco. Publicist. Noun. Number one. A person responsible for publicizing a product. Person or company. To do some publicity for the vineyard. Publicity. Noun. Number one. Notice or attention given to someone or something by the media. 1.1. The giving out of information about a product, person, 
or company for advertising or promotional purposes. Look, you and I both know your father's not some kind of suave, debonair. Suave, adjective, charming, confident, and elegant, typically used of a man. Origin, late Middle English, in the sense gracious, agreeable from Old French or from Latin. The current sense dates from the mid-19th century. Debonair, adjective, of a man, confident, stylish and charming. Origin, Middle English, in the sense meek or courteous, from Old French. Romantic dinners with his special reserved label wine, Moonlight swims. Well, you'll just have to break them up, sabotage or do whatever you have to. I'm trying, but I mean I'm at a slight disadvantage. Romantic dinners with a special reserve label wine. Moonlight swims. Reserve. Moonlight. Noun. As modifier. I'm trying, but I mean I'm at a slight disadvantage. At a disadvantage, phrase, in an unfavorable position, relative to someone or something else. Eggs sunny side up, bacon side of toast, and in case you're really hungry, a stack of humongous chocolate chip pancakes, which smell incredible, if I do say so myself. Eggs sunny side up, bacon side of toast, sunny side up. Phrase, North American, of an egg fried on one side only. And in case you're really hungry, a stack of humongous chocolate chip pancakes. Humongous, adjective, in former North American, huge, enormous, origin, 1970s, originally U.S., Possibly based on huge and monstrous, influenced by the stress pattern of stupendous. Exactly, because because of the time difference. Uh-huh. So you waited until it was three in the morning her time. But she was on vacation with her family in Bora Bora. Exactly, because of the time difference. Uh-huh. Time difference. Noun, number one. The difference in standard time between places in different time zones. But she was on vacation with her family in Bora Bora. On a vacation. Equals on holiday. Phrase. A girl needs more in life than a half a crumpled old photograph. The first change I make is to send that two-faced little brat off to boarding school in Timbuktu. Of the boarding school in Timbuktu. Boarding school. Noun. A school which provides accommodation and meals for the pupils during term time. I gave you a fright? Or why all of a sudden your need is a pin? How? Why did you take off on me like that? I'm just going to whip up everything we've got, okay? Hell. Why did you take off on me like that? Take off, phrasal verb. Number two, also take oneself off. Depart hastily. Hell, why did you take off on me like that? What's the meaning of on? You can find it in the book, Young Hua Young O. I'm just gonna go whip up everything we've got, okay? Whip something up, phrase or verb. Number two, make or prepare something, typically food, very quickly. We have to talk. Okay, shoot. Totally, I mean, like it's a dream come true. I've always wanted a big sister. Sweetheart, what has gotten into you? We have to talk. Okay, shoot. Shoot, verb, informer, often an imperative, begin to speak. 
Sweetheart, what has gotten into you? What has gotten into you? Phrase. What's wrong with you? She went ballistic. Mm. She started yelling in French. Why don't I go talk to her? You know, woman to woman. Knock, knock. Can I join you? Sure. She went ballistic. She started yelling in French. Go ballistic. Phrase. Informer. Fly into a rage. I had my first bow at 11. It's a wonderful age. I don't even have my 12-year-old molars yet. Man and woman. I don't mean to be jerky when you're trying to be all mushy and everything. I had my first bow at 11. It's a wonderful age. Bow. Noun. Dated. Number one. A boyfriend or male admirer. I don't even have my 12 year old molars yet. Mola, noun, a grinding tooth at the back of a mammal's mouth. I don't mean to be jerky when you're trying to be all mushy and everything. Jerky, adjective, US informer, contemptibly foolish. And everything, phrase, informer, used to refer vaguely to the other things associated with what has been mentioned. And for your 411, I adore your father. Hate to break it to you, Angel, but you are no longer the only girl in Nick Parker's life. Get over it. This is the real deal. Okay, puss. You listen and you listen good. And for your 411, I adore your father. For your 411 equals for your information. 411, noun, informer, North American, the 411. The relevant information, all the truth. Hate to break it to you, Angel. Break, verb, 6.1. Break something to, with object, make news known to someone. Get over it. If this is the real deal, get over. Fraser verb, number one, recover from an ailment or an upsetting or startling experience. Okay, pass. You listen and you listen good. Pass. Noun, informer British, a girl or young woman. Well, if you ask me, the bouquet is a little too robust for a Merlot, but then again, I'm partial to the soft the California grape. I had one sip too many, I guess. You know, Mother, I feel like I could use a bit of fresh air. Well, I'll be fine. Just got to touch Rosie, that's all. Well, if you ask me, the bouquet is a little too robust for a mallet. If you ask me, phrase, informer, used to emphasize that a statement is one's personal opinion. Bouquet, noun. Number two, the characteristic scent of a wine or perfume. Robust, adjective. Number two, of wine or food. Strong and rich in flavor or smell. But then again, I'm partial to the softer California grape. Then again, sentence adverb used to introduce a further point for consideration, supporting or contrasting with what has just been said. Partial, adjective, number three, partial, two. Having a liking for. You know, mother, I feel like I could use a bit of fresh air. Use. Verb. Number five. One could use. Informer. One would like or benefit from. I'll be fine. Just got a touch oozy. That's all. A touch. Phrase. To a slight degree, a little, oozy, adjective, informer, unsteady, dizzy, 
or dazed. Origin, late 19th century of unknown origin. Um, yes, I'd like to place a collect call to America, please. I mean, black tie, white gown, the whole enchilada. What? Now, what say you and I take a little stroll in the park, eh, young lady? Okay. Um, yes, I'd like to place a collect call to America, please. Place a call to place verb 2.3 order or obtain a connection for a telephone call through an operator. I mean black tie, white gown, the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada phrase in former North American, the whole situation, everything. Now what say you and I take a little stroll in the park, eh, young lady? What say, phrase, used to make a suggestion? Just do it, sweet pea. Hey, darling, come in. I just have to finish this sketch and FedEx it off to Paris, and then how about you and I go out to lunch and spend the rest of the day getting lost in Harrods, hmm? Well, technically, you belong to your dad, and Annie belongs to me. His and hers, kids. No offense, Mom, but this arrangement really sucks. And I say you're right. Not to worry, darling. I'll take care of everything. Well, technically, you belong to your dad, and Annie belongs to me. Technically, adverb, number one, usually sentence adverb, according to the facts or exact meaning of something, strictly. His and her kids. No offense, mom. But this arrangement really sucks. Suck. Verb. Number three. North American informer. No object. Be very bad or unpleasant. So I'd still be married to him. I mean, we came up with this arrangement so that we'd never have to see each other again. So, Hallie said he was a... a hunk? Yeah, I just hung up with him, actually. So Harley said he was a, a hunk, hunk, noun, number two, informer, a large, strong, sexually attractive man. You're more like a lovable brother who just happens to wait on us and... I'd wear this little baby. You're killing it. You were killing it. Kill. Verb. Informer. Make a markedly favorable impression. This entire prenuptial get-together was her idea, I'll have you know. How are you, young lady? If the hotel can do it, I think that room is perfect for the wedding. Not too big, not too cramped. This entire prenuptial get-together was her idea, I'll have you know. Prenuptial, adjective, existing or occurring before marriage. Get-together, noun, an informal gathering. Not too big, not too cramped, cramped. Adjective, number two, uncomfortably small or restricted. And she chooses today to show up totally zonked. Oh, don't do this to me, I'm already seeing double. Might I suggest that we continue this little powwow inside? Yes, I did. Oh, the man went completely ashen. And she chooses today to show up totally zonked. Junked. Adjective. Number one. Informer. Under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm already seeing double. See double. Phrase. See two things when only one thing is present. Might I suggest that we continue this little powwow inside? Powwow. Noun, number two, informer, a conference or meeting for discussion, especially among friends or colleagues. Yes, I did. The man went completely ashen. Ashen, adjective, number one, of a person's face very pale with shock, fear, or illness.
Well, let me tell you, me waving like a mindless idiot while Nick Parker's wrapped around another woman's arms is not exactly the scenario I had in mind. No, sirree. <laughs> going for a dip, madam. Do you mind? Well, then I'm just going to go back to my room and check out the old minibar situation. Well, let me tell you, me waving like a mindless idiot. Let me tell you. Phrase used to emphasize a statement. It's not exactly the scenario I had in mind. No, sorry. No, sorry. Exclamation. Informal North American. No, indeed. Certainly not. Occasionally more fully. No, sorry, Bob. No, sorry, Bob. Origin. Mid 19th century. A list used found in Queenswick. Going for a dip, madam. Do you mind? Dip. Noun. Number one. A brief swim. And check out the old minibar situation. Minibar. Noun. A refrigerator in a hotel room containing a selection of drinks which, if consumed, are charged to the occupant's bill. To Corella de Ville, she's awful, Mom. We can't let him go through with it. She's all wrong for him, Mom. Uh, yes. yes, technically, yes. yes. I, I did know I something. Had an inkling anyway. Oh, so it's sweet. Just go for the story. I'm an old romantic. Let me say this loud and clear. Yes, yes. I did know something. Yes, technically, yes. I had an inkling. Inkling. Noun. A slight knowledge or suspicion. A hint. It was so sweet. I just fell for the story. I'm an old romantic. Four four. Fraser verb. Informer. Number two. Be deceived by something. Let me say this loud and clear. Loud and clear. Phrase. In a way that reduces or avoids confusion or misunderstanding. Plus, in case you haven't noticed, he seems extremely content with his leggy, tight-skirted, bare-backed fiancé. How do I look? Like, presentable and everything? Not too old? You look fab, Dad. Young man, fab. Martini, dry, please. <coughs> Plus, in case you haven't noticed, he seems extremely content. Plus, conjunction, informer, furthermore, or so. Not too old. You look fab, Dad. Young and fab. Fab. Adjective. Informer. Fabulous. Martini. Dry, please. Dry. Adjective. Number five. Of an alcoholic drink. Not sweet. Just a guesstimate. Uh, can I get back to you on that? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure at the moment. Because... I'm stunned to see you. You don't seem as stunned to see me. Just a guesstimate. Guesstimate. Noun. Informer. An estimate based on a mixture of guesswork and calculation. They switched places on us, Nick. Last time I saw you, you had diaper rashes. <laughs> You're all wet. <laughs> and I'm headed into my crazy mixed up teenage years. Last time I saw you, you had a diaper lash. Oh, sorry. You're all wet. Diaper rash. Noun. Inflammation of a baby's skin caused by prolonged contact with a damp diaper. Nappy rash. And I'm headed into my crazy mixed up teenage ears. Mixed up. Adjective. Informer of a person suffering from psychological or emotional problems. So, how exactly are we paying for this? Well, we pulled our allowances. Yeah, right, Annie. <laughs> okay, grandfather chipped in a bit. Pretty snazzy. Yeah, right, Annie. Okay, grandfather chipped in a bit. Chip in or chip something in. Fraser verb.
contribute something as one's share of a joint activity, cost, etc. Pretty snazzy, snazzy, adjective, informal, stylish and attractive. No wisecracks, please. And I am Martin, your sommelier. May I offer you both a taste of the bubbly, in the hope that you'll get a bit schnockered and not for following the orders of these audacious 11-year-olds. Annie, mood music, please. Back to yesteryear. They're recreating the night we met. The boat, the music. The hell? No wisecracks, please. And I'm Martin, you Somalia. Wisecrack, noun, a witty remark or joke. The help, help, noun, 1.2, a person or thing that helps. 1.3, count noun, a domestic employee. To tell you the truth, I haven't been on a boat since the QE2. Neither have I. It all feels a bit hazy to me now. You later, I'll serve. We were so young, and we both had tempers and get this show on the road, then. Eh? Here's the deal, Mom. We thought it over, and we decided we were being totally gypped. Girls, this is totally unfunny. You're gonna make your mother miss her airplane. Oh, Nick, we are so young, and we both had tempers. Temper, noun, number one. In singular, a person's state of mind seen in terms of their being angry or calm. 1.1. A tendency to become angry easily. And get this show on the road, huh? Get the show on the road. Phrase. Informer. Begin an undertaking or enterprise. Here's the deal, mom. We thought it over and we decided we are being totally jipped. Chip, verb, informer, cheat or swindle someone. Honey, we have kind of a sticky situation. I didn't realize that you were going on this little outing. Oh, I'm gonna kill my trainer. He says I'm in such great shape. There are no mountain lions up here, are there? Girls, I'm telling you, lay off. Get the picture? It's me or them. Girls, I'm telling you, lay off. Lay off. Phraser verb. Informer. Give up or stop doing something. Get the picture? It's me or them. Get the picture. Phrase. Informer. Understand the situation. So where's Chessie? I'm starving. Well, she and Martin went off on a picnic around noon yesterday. Oh, wow. This is where I keep my private stash. Hmm? I'm a man of limited interest. <laughs> I think my sister was conceived on this baby. This is where I keep my private stash. Stash. Noun. Informer. Number one. A store or supply of something. Typically, one that is kept hidden or secret. I think my sister was conceived on this baby. Conceive, verb, number one, of a woman become pregnant with a young. 